What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys, <clears throat> excuse me, if you guys are new to my channel, Cancer, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading for Sonic Cancer for September 2022. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, moon, haven, don't your chart. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages resonate. Leave the rest. Free general collective reading for Sonic Cancer. I encourage everybody to check out their sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and midhaven sign or signs um, uh, for additional message or messages that they apply for you. These are free general collective readings. So, do not force any message or messages that don't apply. I just want to make that very abundantly clear. Um, and love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thanks for all the new subscribers. I appreciate it. Love you guys. If you'd like to donate, type in Pro 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash at Movendo. And if you'd like to book a personal reading, the information is in the description box below. You have... Um, you do not pay until we agree upon a, a confirmed appointment time. Uh, just to let everybody know, okay? And I have another channel, hashtag Leo Gang. If anybody is interested um, in that channel, it's for it's intended for Leo aspected um, people, but cross watchers are welcome as well. If you want to check it out. I did receive two channel messages as I was meditating on your energy cancer. The first one I heard about to return stolen money to the, uh, about to return stolen money. That was number one. The second one I heard about to go to the police. That was number two. So this could be energies could be reversed. I didn't hear cancer. I just heard about to return stolen money about to go to the police. So you take it out resonates. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But um, somebody's about to go to the police, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. And somebody's about to return stolen money, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. I think it's about to bring change because we have the change card. Five, five, five. Um, if that resonates for you, cancer. Only you know your story, not anybody else, okay? Uh, number 12 could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 12, it could be a possible age of a child of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 12. Also, you have double fire sign energy in your animal spirit card. So I strongly feel a lot of you guys are dealing with at least one fire sign, if not two or two plus fire signs in your life. Um, if you are, they can have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. If you are Cancer, we have Firefly and Lion energy. Those are both fire sign energies. Spirit messages you have for Sun and Cancer. By the way, while I'm shuffling out, I was going to tell you guys, I thought a family was moving in to the, um, to the house on the very direct right-hand side, uh, I'm sorry, left-hand side of me, if you're looking at the street, left-hand side of me. I thought it was a family moving in over there because there's been somebody doing a lot of renovative work and he's been bringing his family over, over there. But I don't think it's his place because um, he stuck a, an investment property sign in the middle of the yard just recently it's a buy fast cash company so and that's been recent within the last like 12 hours so i think he works for this buy fast cash houses fat that can't speak buy fast cash houses company is what i think um but you plug it in how it resonates i mean just saying just saying but um they're a nice little family i just don't think they're the one about to um move in I think they're about to rent it out, uh, probably for a very hefty price. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. Chair empty, someone is leaving your life. Diamond, you will be receiving a, or giving a precious gift. You have change and firefly and lion. And um, I'm scooted up so y'all can hear me, and I've got two kitties sitting behind me in this chair, so got to share the space. Firefly. Shocking events is about to happen in a cancer's life soon. Shocking events.
Workplace investigation. Unpaid taxes. About to learn of someone getting a divorce. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. A shocking event, um, if that resonates for you. So I think the shocking events is the illumination. You're about to get illumination like a firefly illuminates the night. You're about to get illumination of these shocking events about to occur in your life. Um, workplace investigation. So you could be the investigator about to investigate, I'm feeling, or you could be at the workplace about to be investigated because uh, energies can be reversed. Someone's about to get a divorce. So I don't feel it's you in this aspect. I feel it's somebody else. You're about to get illumination like a firefly illuminates in the night about this someone about to get a divorce. For one, you're interested in dating them. For one, you're interested in dating them. So for one, you're interested in dating this person about to get the divorce. For one, you could just learn of this person about to get the divorce. How that resonates. Um, and what was the other one? Um, we had workplace investigation, divorce, and there was another one. Oh, unpaid taxes. So you're about to get illumination of unpaid taxes. Uh, for some, you could work in the IRS, I'm presuming, or any other tax agency in another country. Maybe you're sending this illumination out in the mail to somebody about their unpaid taxes, or you are the one that has unpaid your, uh, not paid your taxes, or a company hasn't paid their taxes, or somebody hasn't paid their taxes. You're about to get illumination about this, or send illumination about this. How that resonates and applies, cancer, only you know your story, not anybody else. You plug it in, how it resonates. And an illegal business. Is about to be under such heavy fire, it is not going to go well for them. They were doing this for years. For one, you were a part of this. An illegal business is about to be under such heavy fire. I heard they uh, have been doing this for years, but um, I heard they uh, are about to be under very, very, very heavy fire. So investigation energy I'm feeling in this illegal business. I'm presuming probably Federal Trade Commission is probably going to be on their butt if they if the illegal business within the United States or if it's in another country, however that resonates. Um, and that could be the change too. I heard they're about to be under a heavy fire and it's not going to go well for them. So illumination, if this resonates for you about this um, illegal business that apparently had been getting away with it for years, but it's about to not go well for them. One, you're about to deliver information on this illegal business. For one, you're about to deliver information on this illegal business. So for one, you're about to deliver information on the illegal business. For one, you were a part of the illegal business. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But I heard they were getting away with it for years, but they're about not to get away with it. For one, you could be an investigator about to illuminate the um, situation. It's changing. However, that resonates. Now. Whatever, I mean, I am i didn't hear Federal Trade Commission in here. I'm just presuming it is because Federal Trade Commission deals with spammers, scammers, frauds, illegal businesses, things of that nature. If it is in the United States, if it's in another country, I don't know what agency or agencies handles that. I didn't hear specifically Federal Trade Commission, but I, I feel Federal Trade Commission energy. But you plug it in, how it resonates. Uh, one, you were part of this. One, you're about to illuminate information on it. So only you know your situation and story, not anybody else, but it's changing regardless how that resonates and applies. I don't know why they just didn't make it. I mean, well, there's a reason it was illegal. There's a reason it was illegal. So um, I was about to say, I don't know why they made it, would, would make it legal, but there's a reason it was illegal. And that's just the truth. Now, I'm not them. I don't know, but I'm just saying. Like, you know, you can have legal businesses. And it's not that much to get a business, obtain a business license, whether it's LLC or a sole proprietorship. Like I'm a sole proprietorship business and have been for a while because it's just me. But it's not that it's not that hard to obtain a business license licensure. And that's just the truth. So I, however that resonates, Lion.
A roommate is about to become very significant in a cancer's life. For one, they're about to seduce you. Oh, my Lord. I can't. Uh, okay, cancer. One of you guys has a roommate. I heard a roommate is about to become very significant in your life, and they're about to seduce you. So you're about to get illumination that they want you sexually, basically. And the lion energy, it could be a fire sign. Roommate, possibly. I certainly feel for a lot of you guys, it might be. Aries Leo Sag, roommate. You're about to get illumination. They want you sexually. Or they, yeah. They want you sexually. They're about to seduce you or they're going to put sex magic on you. I didn't hear they were going to, but there's a reason they want to have sex with you. Just saying. Um, lion energy. Confidence and uh, seduction and they're about to come in for the kill. And that's you sexually. For some, you could want this. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. For some, you might not. And it's going to create change in the dynamics of your roommate and the situation. Um, now, whether you choose to have sex with them or not, that's your free will, not anybody else's. Um, you could deny them, however that resonates. But it's going to create a change in the dynamic of that relationship, whether you choose to have sex with them or not. You plug it in how it resonates. Cancer. Hammock, taking a vacation physically or mentally. A cancer judge is very highly attracted to a Taurus feminine they work with. Very highly attracted to her. Cancer masculine judge. You are about to find out she's dating somebody. You both work in the legal sector. It's about to disappoint you in a huge way. Oh my lord. Taurus fam. Horse fam. So you're a cancer masculine judge if this resonates for you. And I heard um you well, you're a judge, and well, I didn't hear occupation on her, but it sounds like you both work in the same workspace or same building or same what have you, what have you, but it's a Taurus femme you're highly attracted to in your workspace or site or facility, or she comes by or what have you, what have you. Whoever this Taurus femme is and how they resonate in your life, cancer masculine judge. But I heard, um, you're about to find out she's dating somebody inside y'all's workspace. Uh, I think y'all all work together in the same building or site or facility or what have you, what have you. I heard it's going to disappoint you hugely. Um, I think you wanted to date her and you're about to realize she is dating somebody else, which is going to create change. And um, it's going to disappoint you, leaving your life as far as, uh, obviously, you're not going to be able to date her. If that resonates because she's dating somebody else. I don't think she's going to actually leave your life, but like taking taking out of the prospects for dating is what I'm trying to say. And it's definitely going to create change if that resonates for you. A cancer is about to take a vacation to the Hamptons. And a cancer is about to visit an underground facility in the United States. Secret underground facility. They're about to be shocked. A cancer is about to take a vacation to the Hamptons, I heard. Congratulations. And one of you guys, I heard you're about to visit an underground facility in the United States specifically. And I heard it's going to shock you. So whatever you're about to see in this underground facility, underground caves, underground caves, underground caves in this underground facility in these underground caves in the United States specifically. I heard it's going to shock you. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates, it's gonna, uh, maybe it's going to change your perspective on things uh, because it's going to shock you whatever you're about to see in these underground facilities. I'm feeling like security clearance energy. I didn't hear that, but I strongly feel security clearance energy here. I mean, I don't think just anybody just gets to go in these underground caves um, in the United States. And that's just the truth. Uh, so I feel you might have to have a security clearance here or be very, very, very high up. In the, maybe you work for the government is what I'm feeling. I think you work for the government or you know somebody that does. Whoever you are, Cancer. You either have connections to get into this, visit this underground cave. I, you obviously have to have connections. But I think you might work for the government. And I'm just being for real. But in this aspect, physical vacation to the Hamptons, if that resonates for you. <clears throat> 
And a cancer masculine position of authority in healthcare is about to take a staycation soon. And a cancer masculine position of authority in healthcare is about to take a staycation soon. <clears throat> so if this resonates for you, you're a cancer masculine position of authority and you work in healthcare. Uh, and you can be manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. I heard you're about to take a vacation soon. Um, a staycation. So I think you're just going to chillax in your area or your home or your space. Or I don't think you're going to travel very far. Um, if that resonates for you, cancer masculine position of authority in healthcare. You can be manager, boss, supervisor, or CEO. Um, I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. So in that aspect, I think it's a mental vacation, a staycation um, is what I'm feeling. You plug it in how it resonates. Chair empty, someone is leaving your life. An Aquarius that was once a very positive part of your life is about to bolt in a huge way. It's about to shock the hell out of you. But it's about to happen. You're a, can you're a Cancer Feminine. You have a very popular online social media platform. Okay, so you're a Cancer Fem and you have a, a very popular online social media platform. Um, whoever you are. Cancer Femme with a very popular online social media platform. I feel that could be any aspect of popular online social media platform. Um, but you're a Cancer Feminine. You have Cancer in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, and Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. But some kind of Aquarius masculine energy. Um, I heard he's about to bolt. Um, I heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So he's about to run away from you or run away from your social media platform or run away from communicating with you. You had secret communication with him in the past. You had secret communication with him in the past. That's what I heard. You had secret communication. For one, you had secret sexual relations. For one, you had secret communication. For one, you had secret communication with him in the past. And one, you had secret sexual relations. But how that resonates, whether you secretly communicated with him or you had secret, sec secret sexual relations, he's about to bolt. Heard it's about to shock the hell out of you. So in this aspect, it's an Aquarius masculine. Um, I think he was a purveyor of your online social media platform business, ma'am. Um, but whether you, you had sex with him or you didn't, or you just communicated with him, he's about to bolt. And I, I heard it's going to shock you. And that's going to create change in your life, if that resonates for you. Um, cancer fam, popular online social media business, platform business. And a Scorpio masculine is about to get one married, one remarried. It's about to shock the hell out of you. You used to date this person. And a Scorpio masculine, there's at least two of them, Scorpio masculines. They have Scorpio in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine behavior, Jupiter's heart, cancer. One, you, you used to date them, uh, if this resonates for you. Both situations, you used to date them. One, they're about to get married, so I'm feeling first time married. The other one remarried, so two or two plus marriages. Um, I heard it's going to shock the hell out of you, but in both of these situations, if they resonate for you, um, you used to date them. So whether they're getting married for the first time or for the second or two or two plus times, you used to date them. So someone is leaving your life. I think that's a, I don't think you'll have a choice in um, sexual connection here or dating choice here with this person. Uh, the Scorpio masculine, unless he likes to do secret third parties or situation shifts or sneaky links. I don't know. Only you know how the Scorpio is, not anybody else. Um, but I think in this aspect, he's about to get, I mean, he's married. He's about to get married. So he's about to be locked in in a marriage contract. You used to date this person, if this, re this resonates for you. Whether he's about to get married for the first time or two or two plus times. That's going to create change in your life, Cancer, if that resonates for you. And a cancer is about to have to find a new daycare soon. There are many series of shame events. 
and a cancer is about to have to find a new daycare soon through many series of chain of events. So someone is about uh, leaving your life. I think this is the new daycare. The old daycare is so is someone leaving your life. So some uh, in this aspect, it's the daycare leaving your life. The old daycare. I heard through many shocking series of chain of events, you're about to have to find a new daycare. So something's going on. In the current daycare, it sounds like, but it's about to be out of your life soon. It's going to create change and um, transformation and new beginnings, i.e. a new daycare. If that resonates and applies for you, cancer. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. An investigation on this on a car crash in the past is about to come back into a cancer's life in a huge way. DUI. For one, you're the investigator. For one, you're about to be investigated. Oh, my Lord. Okay, so an investigation on a car crash in the past. I heard DUI um, is about to come very significant in cancer's life. For one, you're going to be the investigator cancer investigating this car crash uh this wreck car wreck of the past i heard dui so it involved a dui somebody drinking too much and driving um one you're going to investigate this um significant car motor vehicle accident of the past regarding a dui um for one you sounds like cause or was in the motor vehicle accident um i heard it's uh, to shock the hell out of you i think the person that was in this dui that either was driving or was a passenger. Whoever you are, Cancer, only you know your story, not anybody else. Whoa. So the past is about to come back in a huge way. But for one, you're about to investigate it. And that's about to create change. It caused the death. A cold case. It caused the death. A cold case is what I heard. So that DUI and motor vehicle accident caused the death and a cold case. So... You investigator cancer, it caused a death. So I think you're about to investigate the whole case and the motor vehicle accident and the DUI and all that. And that's going to create change. One of you guys was either the driver of the vehicle or you were a passenger when this occurred. How that resonates. Whoa. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. <clears throat> a cancer is about to get a very expensive engagement ring soon you're about to be very happy about this cancer feminine Wow. Well, congratulations, whoever that's for. You're Cancer Fem, and I heard you're about to get a very expensive engagement ring soon. You're about to be very happy about this. So um, I think you're about to get proposed to, Cancer Fem. Um, I heard it's going to be a very expensive engagement ring. So whoever you're about to get engaged to is apparently very wealthy or they're fake flexing and they pretend they are. I don't know if it's charged on a credit card or paid off. I'm not sure, but it's going to make you happy and it's very expensive. I'll tell you that. So I'm I'm feeling it's not cubic zirconia. I'm feeling it's the real deal. So it's going to create change. You're about to get engaged. If this resonates for you, I heard it's going to make you very happy. You plug it in how it resonates. Congrats, ma'am, if that resonates for you. So in this aspect, you'll be receiving a precious gift. It's the very expensive engagement ring. I'm assuming it's real and not cubic zirconia. And you're going to be very happy about this. So I feel it might be a diamond, possibly. We have diamond on the card. Um, it might be a diamond. We have, you know, diamond card. It might be a diamond. Um, and if it is, I think it, whatever it is, it's going to be real. I, I mean, definitely going to be real and very expensive. Definitely going to be real and very expensive. So whoever you are dealing with here, they they don't mess around. Um, hopefully they are real about you. And it's not just about materialistic, but only you know this person, not anybody else. Um, you plug it in how it resonates.
And a cancer is about to help reinstate somebody into a company soon. High vibrational cancer. Through many series of chain of events. Oh, well, that's beautiful. So you're a high vibrational cancer. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. Heard you're about to help reinstate somebody um, in a company soon for many series of chain of events. So in this aspect, it's you will be giving a precious gift, which, you, which is the reinstatement of a, it sounds like a person that got wrongfully terminated, um, and you know they did. Um, you're about to, I heard you're about to help the process of getting them reinstated back into the company. Um, so you'll be giving a precious gift in this aspect, which is the reinstatement into back into the company, um, which is going to create change for um, you and them. However, that resonates and applies. And a low vibrational Libra masculine officer of the law is about to be caught with drugs soon. You are a position of high authority above them. You're about to bring the hammer down upon them. Tired of this shit. Whoa. Holy crap. Well, that's not a precious gift. Um, okay, hold on. So I think that someone is leaving your life with change. Uh, I heard you're about to bring the hammer down upon them. It's a officer of the law. You're above this officer of the law. So I don't know if you're chief of police or you might be a judge, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how that crap works. I don't work in the law enforcement sector. I never have. Um, so whoever you are and how this applies, but somehow you're above this Libra, low vibrational Libra masculine officer of the law, dirty cop energy that's about to be caught with drugs. Um, whoever you are, sir, ma'am. Um, you're about to bring the hammer down upon them, the hammer. Um, so I don't think it's a literal hammer. I think it's a metaphorical hammer. Uh, I think you're about to serve some justice to this person. So I feel you might be a judge, possibly man or woman judge, or you could be a manager, boss, supervisor, CEO, or like a chief of police. You plug it in, how it resonates. But this low, it's a low vibrational Libra masculine. He could have Libra in a sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, Jupiter Jupiter chart. He's about to be caught with drugs. Um, it's about to be another officer about to catch him. <clears throat> it's about to be another officer about to catch him. So it's about to be another officer about to catch him with the drugs. Oh, man. But you're about to, you are above him in some shape, form, or fashion. You're about to bring the metaphorical hammer down upon him and create change. And I think you're about to create a series of chain of events to kick him off the force is what I'm feeling. Um, or demote him or something of that nature, somehow you're going to bring the metaphorical hammer of justice upon him. I, I don't know how that works. Um, I, I, I'm, I don't know. Only you know how that works. But holy crap, man. Um, so I don't know if he's going to be demoted or if you're going to kick him off force or what legal process and ways you need to go about that. Only you know that, not anybody else. But I feel... You're not obviously not going to be happy about it. You're going to create change. And some, I think you might, um, I think you might devote him or move him to a, another unit or, or what, what, it, whatever you're about to do here or kick him off the force or what have you, what have you. I don't know how that works. Only you would know that, not anybody else. Uh, but you're going to bring the metaphorical hammer down upon him of justice, if that resonates. Oh, man. It's a low vibrational Libra masculine. Younger Libra masculine. Younger Libra masculine. So it's younger Libra masculine. I'm feeling 35, 36 or below. Whoever this person is. Holy crap. He's an officer of the law. But another officer of the law is about to catch him with drugs. Woo! Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. We'll do one more on this to see if I hear anything else. About to send a plane ticket soon. 
and a very important letter through the United States Postal Service. About to send a ticket soon, a plane ticket soon, and a very important letter through the United States Postal Service, I heard. So, it's, I heard about this. So, okay, so energies can be reversed. So, either you're about to get a plane ticket or in a very important letter through the United States Postal Service cancer, or you're about to send the, somebody's about to send it to you is what I'm saying, the a very important plane ticket or through the, and the very important letter through the United States Postal Service. Or you're about to send the very important plane ticket and the very important letter through the United States Postal Service. Energies can reverse, so only you know where you fit in this situation and dynamic, not anybody else. It's about to create change, whether you're receiving it or you're about to give it. So in this aspect, it could be receiving or giving the precious gift, which in this aspect is a very is a plane ticket and a very important letter through the United States Postal Service. This is in the United States, if this resonates for you. Okay. Whoa. Okay, well, I think we're done. All right, I love you guys. I hope this helped, and I'm going to say.